Dear SAP developers, in today's TechPyte session, we will demonstrate how to enable the CAP Attachments plugin in your application using the Object Store service and Malware Scanning service from SAP Business Technology Platform. We hope you find this useful. For today's demonstration, I'm using my free tier account from SAP BTB. So if we have a look at the instance and subscription, we see that we have SAP Business Application Studio. I have already created a demo attachments dev space. So let us start by creating a, a new SAP CAP application using SAP samples. So let's go and open a new terminal. Using CTS um, CLI, we can create a new sample application. So let's first um, navigate to the projects folder. The CTS init books of hyphen add sample. So this will create a sample application with the project structures required for the CAP project. So we will open the folder which was created uh, in BAS. So we see uh, that the project was already created. Let's start the application using CDS Watts. Now we can open the application in the port 4004. So we have the sample application where we can browse books and we can also manage books. So we'll provide the mock user Alice, which also has uh, administrative roles. And if, if we have a look at the books, we have uh, certain facets, including general translations, details, and admin. So now, uh, let's try to install uh, the attachment plugins. We can install that by npm add at the rate cap hyphen js slash attachments. So now that the attachment plugin is installed, Let's check in the DB folder. So let's check the domain model. We can enhance this domain model by using this newly installed attachment plugin. So we do that by using statement. So using attachments from at the red cap js. hyphen attachments. And the only next change that we have to do is we have to enhance the entity book with additional uh, attachment property, which we define as composition of many attachments. So the application was again uh, relaunched. So let's see if we have the changes. We see an additional facet called as attachments. And it is also possible to upload the attachments, save, and it's also possible to download Let us also delete the attachment. 
These are the basic uh, operations which are possible using the attachment uh, plugin. Now let's go to the uh, Kabaya documentation and uh, if we go and check the attachment section in the plugins, we can see that, uh, that there are two type of implementations possible. So we are creating a Node.js application, so we will go to the Node.js part. And over here we have some uh, documentation about how to we use the object store. So first of all, we have to log into the Cloud Foundry associated with our um, free trial account. And then uh, we need to bind uh, the object source service. So let's go to our um, free tier account. And I already have the entitlements to install the object source service and the malware service. So let's go to the service market space. We can search for object and then we see that we have object store. So object store service, the service from BTP, we can have multiple uh, uh, implementations of the service provider. So for, for this particular demonstration, we are using S3 standard plan. So meanwhile, um, the instance of uh, object store is being created. Let us go ahead and uh, also create an instance of our uh, malware scanning service. So we go again to the service marketplace and search for malware. And we can see malware scanning service. It scans the documents when we want to upload in the application. So let's create a subscription for that. And the plan we will uh, choose is uh, CLAMAV. Let's give a name as malware scan. So we see that we have two instances. Uh, one is already created and the object store service uh, with the name obj-store is, is also now created. So let's see further. Let's launch the application once again and this time with the additional parameter of hyphen, hyphen profile hybrid. And immediately we run into a, an error and uh, let's see what is the error. So the error says uh, that the SAP object stored instance is not bound. So let's have a look at the documentation once again. And we see the step number two uh, for using SAP object store. The first thing that we have to do is we have to log in into Cloud Foundry. And next, in the next step, we have to do the binding. So let's start a new terminal. Using CF login, we can uh, log into the Cloud Foundry account. Just to verify whether the API endpoint is correct, so I'll, I'll just check that. I provide my username and password. And I'm logged into my Cloud Foundry account. Let's go to the documentation once again. So we see that the command to bind the object store is the following. We had recent uh, enhancement from CAF framework where um, while creating the binding, it is not um, a required step now to create the secret keys. So the secret keys are created implicitly, so we can skip that part. So we can remove the service key part and only provide the instance name of the service that we have created in our free tier account.
will uh, say CDS bind object store icon 2 OPJ store and kind as S3 because it is it is the Amazon using the Amazon S3 bucket so we see that the service key was also created and also the binding was also done and if you want to test it we need to again run uh, CDS watch with high profile as hybrid so let's open the application once again let's open the manage books and we go to a book We go to the attachment tab and then we try to upload. Okay, so we run into an issue. So we have some errors. So let's go back to our development environment and check if there are any logs. Okay, we see that SAP malware scanning service is not bound. So in order to use the object store uh, uh, from SAP BTP, we, we also have to bind the malware scanning service. So in a similar way, we will only specify the instance name because CDS bind command will automatically create the service keys for us. So we make note of the instance name, which is malware-scan. And then uh, first the service key is created and the binding is also done. So the next step for us is to test the application once again. So let's again run CDS watch hyphen profile hybrid. So the application is ready. Let's launch it. We again go to Manage Books and then go to the book which we want to select. We go to the attachment facet in the edit mode and then we upload, try uploading a cover page once again. So this time we did not had any errors and we see that also the object is saved. Yeah, but the next uh, natural question uh, would be that how do I verify whether uh, the object or uh, the, the cover page which I uploaded into the attachments was actually stored into the object store. So how do we verify that? Before that, let's go and delete uh, the file which ju we just uploaded and then uh, we'll start from scratch. If we ins inspect the console log, we see that the application is bound to malware scanner and also bound to object store. Now let's see uh, what were the configurations which were created in addition when we did the binding. It actually created the hybrid profile and under that it, it has two bindings, one for malware scanner and one for object store. The application uses this to actually connect to the object store service and the malware scanning service. So in order to test uh, the AWS store, I'm using AWS CLI, using AWS configure command. We are able to access the S3 bucket. So we need access key ID and secret access key for the same. So this is the terminal which I'm using in my local system where I provide the access key ID and also the secret access key. I also have to provide the region, which is EU Central hyphen one. And I'm done. So I'm now connected to my S3 bucket and I can issue this command 
to actually list all the files which are there in the S3 bucket. So remember, we deleted all the files we uploaded. So that is the reason why we do not see any any files when we try to list. Let's go to the application once again and upload the same file again. And we save it. We see that it's also downloaded. So now let's check. Let's go back and check whether uh, this file was actually uploaded uploaded to our S3 bucket. So we issue the same command again, and this time we see that there is one file in the S3 bucket. So let's um, try to download this file to our local system. So I'll change the command to AWS S3 copy, which is CP. And then uh, I specify uh, the file name in that path, which I want to copy. And then I need to specify the target. So I choose the current folder. And then desktop demo and downloads download underscore s3.png. So this is the location where it should be downloaded. And I see that uh, it is immediately downloaded. So let's navigate to that uh, folder and then, uh, then see whether the file was actually downloaded. So it is, it is downloaded. So let's now try to open the file. So I'm in the same folder and I can see that uh, the file got downloaded and I was also able to open it. So now again, let's go to the edit mode and then let's try to delete that file. And we will check whether it gets deleted from the S3 bucket object stores instance as well. So we, we had uh, forgotten to save. So now we have saved. So, so now the file should be deleted. So we issue the command again, the ls command. And we see that the S3 bucket is empty. In summary, we started with Bass Dev Space for a CAF full stack application and created a sample bookshop application using the CDS init command. We then installed and enabled the CAP attachments plugin in our application, followed by enabling the object store and malware scanning service. Additionally, we briefly explored how to configure and use AWS CLI to check our S3 bucket. We hope this tech byte will be valuable when you try it out yourself.